Now, let's talk about a traversal. The traversal of a tree is essentially when you visit every node. And there are three. Pre-order, in order, and post order. Now, in order to do these three traversals, it's helpful to do what's called a full traversal. And this is just a teaching technique. This is not an actual process that you're going to use in processing a tree. It's very helpful if you can see what's called a full traversal. So let's take a look at that. A full traversal of a tree is not something that you're going to actually do in processing, but it's a way to actually see how the pre-order, in-order, and post-order traversals actually work in a binary tree. So we're going to change colors to red, and what we're going to do is we're going to mark each node in three spots, on the left, and the middle, and the right. So I'm going to take a moment to do this, and I want you to do the same thing on your paper. And then I'll show you why we're doing this. So to do a full traversal, we're basically going to connect all of these red dots with the rule is that we hug the branches all the way down, but we can't cross over a branch. We'll start right here, and we'll just start connecting like this, and make nice little loopies all the way around, just like this. And again, you hug each branch, and you go to the next available red dot along that branch. You can't cross any branches. You're just hugging as close to the branch as you can. And again, this is called a full traversal. And it really makes the other traversals very easy to understand. So let's talk about a pre-order traversal. I'm going to change colors again. So we're going to use green, and we're going to do what's called a pre-order traversal. And the key to pre-order is do the full traversal, but only output when you're touching the left side of a node. And so if we start up here, we touch the node 5 on the left, and we output it. The next one is a 9. And along the traversal, the next one is a 4. It's touch left. And then a 1. Now, we don't output it when it touches the middle or the right. There's the next one. That's an 8. And then we travel along the traversal, and the next one touch left is a 6. And then a 5. And then the next is a 3, and 2, and finally the 7. And if you stand back and look, we have touched every node one time on the left. Now let's look at the in order traversal. We're going to use magenta. And this is touch middle. Same idea. Start at the top left, but only output a node when it touches the middle. So nothing there yet. Ah, there's the 1. The 1 goes first in, in order. And then the next one is the 4. And next is 8. And then we go along, and there's the 9. And we go along, and the 5 is next. And then the 6. And then the 5, and then next is 2, and 3, and then 7. So there is the in-order traversal. Now, you're probably guessing that post-order is touch right, and you would be correct. Now, post-order, you're still starting up here, but you don't output a node until you touch it on the right. So the first one that's output on the right is the 1. And then next is the 8, and then the 4, and then the 5, and the 6, and the 9. 
and then the 2, 7, 3, 5. And that is the post order traversal. So these are the three classic ways that you're going to traverse a tree. Pre-order, in order, and post order. Pre-order is touch left, in order is touch middle, post order is touch right.